Ancient Egypt, a land of pharaohs and pyramids, holds many secrets. One of these secrets is the story of Hor Aha. He was a pharaoh, a king, who ruled Egypt a very long time ago. We are not sure exactly when he ruled, but it was around 3050 BC. That is over 5,000 years ago. Hor Aha's name means Horus the fighter. Horus was an important god in ancient Egypt. Some people believe that Hor Aha was the very first pharaoh of Egypt. They think he was the same person as Menes, a legendary king who united Upper and Lower Egypt. We don't have all the answers, but we know Hor Aha was very important. He helped to start a dynasty, a line of rulers from the same family. The first dynasty of Egypt lasted for about 250 years. Hor Aha's reign was a time of great change and development for Egypt. Hor Aha became pharaoh after his father, Nama. Nama had unified Upper and Lower Egypt, bringing them together under one ruler. This was a huge accomplishment. Hor Aha continued his father's work. He wanted to make sure that Egypt stayed united and strong. He led military campaigns to protect Egypt's borders. One inscription tells us that Hor Aha won a battle against the Nubians. Nubia was a region to the south of Egypt. This victory showed everyone that Egypt was powerful. Hor Aha also worked hard to improve life inside Egypt. He made sure that the government was organized. He also supported the worship of the gods. Religion was very important to the ancient Egyptians. We know a little about Hor Aha's family. His main wife was Queen Benarib. Their tombs were built next to each other in a place called Abydos. This shows us that Benarib was a very important woman. Hor Aha had another wife, Queen Kenthap. She was the mother of his son, Jer. Jer became the next pharaoh after Hor Aha. Royal tombs tell us a lot about how the ancient Egyptians viewed death and the afterlife. Hor Aha's tomb is much larger than the tombs of those who ruled before him. It has three big chambers. Inside the tomb, archaeologists found the bodies of servants and animals. They were buried with the pharaoh. This is called a retainer sacrifice. The ancient Egyptians believed that the pharaoh would need these people and animals in the afterlife. Section 4. Glimpses into a distant past. Even though Hor Aha lived so long ago, we have found objects from his time. These objects are called artifacts. They tell us about the lives of the ancient Egyptians. Archaeologists have found beautiful copper axes from Hor Aha's reign. Copper is a type of metal. These axes show us that the ancient Egyptians were skilled metal workers. We have also found pieces of faience vessels. Faience is a type of pottery that is glazed. The glaze makes it shiny and colorful. The ancient Egyptians made beautiful things with faience. We have even found an ivory box and some marbles with writing on them. These objects tell us that the ancient Egyptians were skilled artists. They also show us that they traded with other lands. Section 5. A Legacy Etched in Time Hor Aha was a very important pharaoh. He helped to build a strong and unified Egypt. He protected Egypt's borders and made sure that the government worked well. He also honored the gods and the old ways. We are still learning about Hor Aha. There is still much that we don't know, but what we do know shows us that he was a great leader. He left behind a legacy that would last for centuries. The pharaohs who came after him built on his achievements. 
they created one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever known. The next time you see a picture of a pyramid or a sphinx, remember Hor Aha. He was one of the pharaohs who helped to make ancient Egypt so amazing.